You know, there was an advantage to owning a Wii U, and it was playing this game. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was worth the wait. Was it really? Hi! Oi. This is Pikmin 3 Deluxe! Oh, Deluxe. I only played the one for Wii U, but... We are playing the Switch version, mainly because there are things that died when the Wii U Online died. Uh -huh. So so they added it all back in on the Switch version, and there we go, complete version. Great, now, is this better than Pikmin 2? Because I came out of that feeling tired, burnt out, and quite distressed. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Compared to the other title screens where it just shows them from the top, and it just shows leaves of Pikmin... Yeah. Nintendo took a different approach for this one. Well, this looks pretty amazing and fantastical and natural and beautiful. Basically, they said, hey, you remember what we did for Pikmin 1? Yeah. Let's do that, but with all the modern changes to make it a lot more playable and a lot more friendly towards newcomers. At the far reaches of space. And also just have fun with it and make it pretty. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic... Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Oh no, the food supply. food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned... We are the world eaters. We will eat all of your food. I would love it if all the people who went out to go search for food, they came back and Galactus had already taken out Kopai. Just as they're about to give up... And then Unicron took out Galactus. <laughs> And then Thanos snapped him away. And then Thanos died of a heart attack. It was, it was really weird. <gasps> oh! A source of food! Eat the planet! Eat the planet! <laughs> Alright! So PNF 404 has food! We can save Kopai! Does PNF mean anything? Pikmin not found 404? It's... <clears throat> hey? Yeah? Right? Except that's the Pikmin planet, so... Uh, Pikmin now found 404! Ooh, there we go! No longer an error. The explorer's 279,000 light. Ah, so dust and rust will land on the planet. Gotcha. As the initial uh oh. Landing no. Something goes horribly. Wrong. Oh, they, they split all the people's body parts all over the planet. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> wow, look at that. So it's the opening to Mass Effect 2, but I got a feeling they're not going to be a pile of gore when they reach the bottom. This is how Pikmin 1 started. Traveling to a distant planet, and then something goes wrong with your ship. But there are three, not one. <clears throat> Exploration day one, 8.44 a.m. Charlie's crash site. Stardate, one, two, four. <laughs> Ugh. This one closely resembles Pikmin 1 in story structure. Except we have a new hood. <laughs> We have a new hook of our planet is dying from starvation, so go to a distant planet and find food for it. Well, it's already snowing. That's different right off the bat. It looks so pretty. Where I lost yeah. in our liberal was. When? Oh, of course. This must be pun 404. The camera angle has also slightly changed, and that adds to being able to look at the beauty of the backgrounds. See, Nintendo finally got an HD console, and they decided, you know what? Let's use that. So you think about technological advancements for Nintendo, it's when people have already used them for a few years, so when they get to it, it's cheaper and easier to develop for, and, well, they do it right. Every time. Yeah, one thing I'm actually glad they did away with, and I'm... Pikmin 3 was the one I wanted to come to Switch. Because the Wii U had gimmicks upon gimmicks. But it, but it actually worked! It was so cool to actually have it work, but it was... It was kind of a nuisance if you didn't want to use it. So imagine this, Wiimote, Nunchuck, Gamepad was your map, so you never had to press pause. It was always there. That's cool! But thankfully here, it's been simplified, so you don't have to do it that way. In fact, you can't, because there is no Gamepad. Thank Christ. There's also been a couple quality of life changes from the Wii U version to the Deluxe version. We'll talk about those when we see them. That is actually really cool. If you want to go old school pointer style, where it's just a fixed area, you can do that. But no. we're going, we're going with the uh, the good controls here. Right? Yeah. You w was Pikmin strictly point and click on the GameCube air uh, GameCube days? Yeah. 
when it came to the Wii, it made it, made it so much better. Like, like with the new control style? Yeah, new control, added motion controls, and it fixed basically everything. Oh, wow. All the gripes I had with the GameCube version, gone in an instant. So now any normal person can play this? Yeah. Because you're moving, like, your guy with the control stick. You didn't do that in the other games, did you? You could. It was it was strange because you had to like angle them in the right way so that your pointer was aiming what you wanted to aim at. But one of the quality of life changes is coming up here soon, and this is just a regular Pikmin 3 thing, not a, you know, we deluxified it and made it better. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Alright, so there's my pointer. This is me trying to aim with a pro controller. Still works. You'll see a couple mess-ups here, but that's just the motion control business. I will forgive a few mess-ups. Forgive anything less than perfect gameplay, so <laughs> just keep that in mind going forward. Uh, the pointer has a little bit of snap to it, so if you're aiming towards something, it's more likely to actually hit its target. Uh, later on, when we hit, like, big monsters that you have to specifically aim, not like pinpoint accuracy, but that really helps with a little bit of snapping to it. So, regular Pikmin stuff, pick up your Pikmin, toss them at whatever you want dead, and they'll attack it, automatically. Alright. Something tells me that they really like the idea of throwing the Pikmin, that seems to be the appeal of these things, I guess. See, I'm sure it was Miyamoto who went into the boardroom and said, what if I threw plant creatures? He just came into the boardroom and started throwing carrots at people. <laughs> oh, 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 Miyamoto-san! Do you get it yet? Do you get it? Let's make a game like this, yes! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, I know this is your passion project, but seriously, what the fuck? And he's he carrots. And he waddles like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> You know, I think I get it. <laughs> he takes his glasses off slowly. My oh my god. god. <laughs> I get it. Alright, so the main objective is to go around and look for our crew. They fell out of the ship like we did, so we need to regroup. Or what's left of them, I guess. So here's a new... Uh, I'm not going to say it's like sub-objective or anything, but there's new hazards. This is pure crystal. We can't break through that. It makes it a Metroidvania, don't you see? Hmm, a little we can, bit. We can beat up these uh, mushroom people from Dark Souls. Pikmin's main strength, and this is something I uh, rediscovered when I played Pikmin 4, which is another reason we're doing this, by the way, so we can get to 4. The level design is phenomenal. And yeah. if you know where you're going, this game can be beaten in less than 10 days. Well, that's what I'm noticing already, is that the oh environments look pretty dang sweet. Oh my that's, god! That's what I hated from Pikmin 2. Most, look at this! Like, ha half the game in Pikmin 2 was just dungeons. There was nothing cool about it. It could have been playing Monkey Ball for all I know. I think you'll enjoy this one more because there are no dungeons in this game. Stick to my fucking ears. <laughs> okay, that's new. Already a gameplay challenge. Oh! Brightness, they hate the light. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Alright, Ar already looking good. Ar mm. Already looking on the positive here. <laughs> run away, run away! Whoa. And game over, you died. Oh, fast game. Wow, you see, it was short. Anyway, that was Charlie's part of the story. Now let's go ahead and figure out what Alf's doing. Exploration day one, 8.46 a.m. Alf's crash site. Star ah! day one, oh, lucky. I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> what a day. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> if it stops right in midair. No, 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 no. <laughs> Star day one. <laughs> so that piece. was Alf's story. Now let's go over to our third character. That's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Unharmed? Wait! That's not right! <laughs> he just slaps himself in the face! Oh, there we go! <laughs> just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. I love that there's actually voice acting in this game, but it's Japanese gibberish, so it's it's not English speak. <laughs> Alright, so get together with the SS Drake and find our crew members. Easy, right? But if I stay in the pond, I'm safe. <laughs> I'll get drenched, but it's okay. What it's, the? A good, it's a good thing the pH of <gasps> the water didn't instantly vaporize me. That actually still applies here that the element 
oxygen is very dangerous for these copites. So no breathing oxygen. None of that. Nothing but nitrogen and methane for me. Uh. Yeah, people have had that uh, theory that what if aliens avoid us because we're the we're the evil, disgusting oxygen sucking. <laughs> No, I don't want to go down there. This place is covered in oxygen. They breathe that poison. You can believe that. Ew. All right. So now that we've learned how to uh, grab the Pikmin, that there's a lock on button now. Oh, that's that's nice. That's a Pikmin 3 edition. Ooh. Not even deluxe. That is gorgeous. See, I made it a little bit into Pikmin 3, but I got a feeling we're going to reach the end of how far I got by the end of this episode. So the end of the first day. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, good job, red fellows. I'm so glad that uh, they had a mid-orbit crash above the atmosphere, and all three of them landed without so much as a scratch on them. How convenient. Unless a Britney's in, like, a pile of gore on the ground or something. <laughs> Skid marks. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, well, uh, two's fine. Oh. What about the hundreds of crew members and engineers that we had on board? Oh. oh. All right, so because this is the first episode of a Pikmin game, that means there's not going to be a lot happening. This is mainly tutorial stuff. But I would like to go over some, some small things that eventually got fixed in Pikmin 4. Oh, so this isn't even the ultimate Pikmin game. Nope. Got to wait for 4. You see how they're picking things up and starting to build a bridge. In the old Pikmin games, they would just basically beat the materials until the bridge got built. Here, they are actually going to a place, and just like the worker ants that they are, picking up the pieces and bringing them back to build the bridge. That's the added power of their processing as well, I would, I would wager. What Pikmin 4 fixed in this regard is the fact that they go straight back to where the pile is and just stand there. In Pikmin 4, they uh, stay on the bridge. I see. I didn't even notice how much of a godsend that was until I came back and played Deluxe. I was like, oh my god! Because they don't they don't realize the bridge is finished. They just go back to make more of the... Oh, well, okay, if there's nothing here. So this is where your gamepad would come in. Every single time you see the screen, it would have been on your gamepad. But since uh -huh. it's on the Switch, it's just on screen like it should have been. <laughs> Does he always announce what he's doing everywhere he goes? I think it's mainly so his co-pad is actually recording his captain's log. It's like, like leaving notes. It's like, ah, I found something there. I'm amazed by the... by how clear it shows up on the map. Now I'm going to close the map and start walking in that direction. It actually kind of matches his personality because he's the ship's engineer. So finding new stuff is just like, whoa! And even old stuff. Maybe he just really likes the Wii U gamepad. A camera, you say? Well... <laughs> it's time for selfies! <laughs> Hello, end slate photos. Hell yeah! <laughs> What's up, guys? It even has a depth of field and focus. It also has flash, so... This is just them showing off. They know their game looks pretty, so they're gonna make you take pictures of it. Let's see, out of focus, and... Uh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good photo. Do you bleed? <laughs> There's stuff inside you, the same color as us. Whoa! Yeah, so this is where you get your screenshots. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> An out-of-focus, full-face shot. It's like they took your your camera and just... Oh, that's Whoa. this! Whoa. Guys, please give me my camera back. Should we do it? No, I think we should. No, no, no. no. Alright, you throw your Pikmin to for them to automatically attack things. They gave you a couple enemies where you can't actually lose Pikmin here, so that's good. To have a Pikmin extinction in the first second of gameplay. Hey, it's happened. Actually, no. Day one, you are... There are strictly no enemies in every day one. You can glitch your Pikmin out of existence, and that causes a mass extinction on day one. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. Ten hours here, and you cause a mass extinction. <laughs> you really are human after all. And here's our first type of Pikmin! Yay! Little Reds! Red Pikmin. 
Staples of the Pikmin franchise, immune to fire and the heaviest hitters. Yeah, I'll fuck you up. Come at me, bitch! I'll bust your mouth! A thing that's coming back from the original Pikmin is... Constantly pressing A helps you pluck all your Pikmin at once. But one small change, and again, this is an adjustment that's just beautiful that came from 2 to 3. As soon as they hit the ground, you can pluck them. You don't have to wait for them to sprout first. Yes! When they stopped being about simulation and strategy and started being about, you know, flow of gameplay. Did I tell you about the recording process of this? Uh, no. Within three days, I had played through the entire campaign, 100%ed it, and then immediately started recording. I love playing this game. It just feels great. It's all about time management, it's all about getting your resources together, and splitting everything up evenly. Again, I'm glad you're the one doing this, this just is... I mean, this does look much better. This is my type of RTS, and at the time, it was the most accessible Pikmin game in the entire series. That is true. It was also the only one you could get on Switch. That is true. <laughs> Alright, there you go, guys. So, items, they have an amount of Pikmin that need to be on them in order for it to be carried. Still double? Most of the time, it's double. There are a couple, like, small scenarios where it's just like, oh, you can only have, like, ten on this instead of, you know, actual double. Oh, that's a super important quest item! Woo! Yeah, the more you have on there, the faster it goes. There's another part of your strategy. Card of the board. Hey, what's up, buddy? Just gonna stare at me while your brothers push the box, or, uh... Well, yeah, I mean, you know. Oh, what are you? Here is a record of our of our services. Hmm. Here's the bill. It looks like someone left a data file here. Perhaps the cop pad will be able to read it. Yay. I swear he has, like, a little leapfrog thing or whatever. <laughs> the onion is a nest for the Pikmin. Mm-hmm. So these are your little tutorial messages and hints, but they also have a little bit of lore. We're going to go for all of them. Ooh. Because in the original Wii U version, if you got all of them, you got a special surprise. So I figured in the spirit of things, we'll go for all of them. What did you get in the Wii U version? The ability to get a secret message that can no longer be accessed because of the Wii U online shutdown. Tragedy. Oh yep. Dear. Oh yep, damn yep, yep. me. Also, 100% completion all the way, man. That's what I do. That's your game. It's oh, so pretty. Oh, I love one. Ooh. Wow. Simple stuff. Wow, it could go north. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I also kind of like that there are some things on their planet that are the same as Earth, but they're a lot bigger here. Like, they have a lot of this foliage. Are they bigger or are we smaller? Mmm, let's see, this is Earth. So they are much smaller. Again, I still like looking through the instruction manual of Pikmin 1 and uh, Olimar being smaller than a AA battery. So how does he fight in Smash? They upscaled him just like they downscaled Ridley. Fine. By the way, one of the new abilities added to Pikmin 3 was a charge function. Instead of holding a stick to move your squad towards something, you can have them full charge and attack whatever you point them towards. Wow. That's great. That's great. And they even fixed it a little more in Deluxe. So we'll talk about that here in a bit. I don't know, you're the engineer. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, incoming transmission. Who's calling at this hour? Hey, there you are. Ah. You don't get to play with her, she's just... here? You'll see. Oh. 
Uh oh. Maybe we should go help out Brittany. Nah. <laughs> oh no, she cut out. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with my new friends. <laughs> Uh-oh. This planet's dangerous at night. A dark black hand emerges from the shadows. <sighs> claws and blood red nails. Pulsating with devil energy. And then you hear, <laughs> The Pikmin go <laughs> go evil at night. Okay, just pets the Pikmin gently. Aww. <laughs> And then it <laughs> That's when it cuts to black immediately. <laughs> that was the end of day one. Simple tutorial stuff. Fucking out of here! Yeah, just getting through all the regular stuff. That is a beautiful shot. What the hell, guys? Good sunset. Yes! Gorgeous! Now, Pikmin 1 had a 30-day life support system. Pikmin 2 had an infinite timer. Here's Pikmin 3's. The supplies we brought with us from Kumpai were destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three, three days, days worth, worth of edible, edible provisions. provisions. Ah, okay. There's your ticking clock. Not nearly as bad, because once we start collecting resources, we will never run out. So it is finite, but infinite? In a manner of speaking, yes. Like, let's say, for example, getting one piece of supplies will probably feed you for two extra days. Mm. So it's rationed out very expertly, especially for beginners. This is what you want. You may want to make it accessible. So here's a little speedrunner trick. Not exactly a trick, but something to help out. You can look over your entire day on the map, see where you went wrong, and readjust. It looks like the Breath of the Wild map system. This game has a rewind function where you can replay an entire day and get a better yield for the day. You also get nightly recaps or data logs. We're shipwrecked on this planet from your people. Help! 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 I'm not crying. You're crying. So we can't escape because our cosmic drive key is gone. Maybe if we meet up with Brittany, she'll know more. And now that we've met all three characters. There is a naming scheme for these guys. What? What? I don't. I, 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 Olimar is Mario. Uh huh. Olimar and Louis is Mario and Luigi. Right. Alf, Brittany, and Charlie. Yeah. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Uh huh. Military. Right. And then Pikmin 4 is just a bunch of dogs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time on Pikmin 3 Deluxe.